Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your September 2020 general reading. Now it's a general reading because it will not resonate with each and every Aquarius, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so Aquarius, um, and thank you to all who do like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, share these videos. All right, so Aquarius, um, we'll jump into love first, okay? Because I know that's where y'all want to be, okay? Um, there's somebody coming back to you. You guys might have been or are separated. They're coming back because now... Their mind is clear. Or this is you having a sense of clarity without them being in your energy or vice versa or mutual. You both feel that way. You know, absence makes the heart fonder, right? Um, there's someone coming back to you in haste. Um... So I'm coming back to you in terms of a, a clear mind and knowing what they want from you, knowing what they want with you. And then there's some coming back with the same arrogant, boastful, bossy, manipulative ways. For some of you, there's a fire sign who might want to come back to you you guys could have divorced or are divorcing or maybe a divorce or separation was, uh, you know, spoken about. It could be happening. It could happen. But this person wants to make amends. But the cards are asking you to ask this person, why do you want to make amends? Why do you want to be back in my life? This person is going to be very pushy and boastful and, and, and bossy uh, in terms of, of where they stand with you. They will not take no for an answer. Some type of clarity has come to them in terms of what they know they can have with you, what they should have with you. This could be a Leo. This could be a Sagittarius. It could be anyone. It could be a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, there is someone coming back to you. Look, this fire sign is coming back to you. This could even be an Aries. You got all the fire signs here. This is so crazy. If it's a fire sign coming back to you, I don't know though. I don't know your life. It could be any sign. If they're being very pushy, they're not taking no for an answer. They don't want to slow things down. They want the same position that they held in your life before without proving themselves to you. The cards are cautioning you against taking this person back. They don't even, you or they don't even have good thoughts about the relationship, about the past, about the times that you guys spent together. This person just wants back in, maybe because they know something that uh, you're about to come into. Um, they see you doing well and, and pushing forward and having a clear mind and make, making very stable and conscious decisions for yourself and those around you. There's also, for some of you dealing with air signs, there's an air sign that wants to come back to you. It looks very good. It looks like it can work. They want something stable with you. The time apart, once again, allow for someone to have um, a sharp mind about uh, separation, about how they feel about you, the relationship, what they did or didn't do in, uh, in order to push the relationship forward or what they did to push it away. So there's someone coming back to you uh, with clarity about who you are, what you are to them, 
in their life. We have the king and king of we have the queen and king of swords. Uh, you could be dealing with another air sign, another Aquarius like yourself. We have the star card here. There's someone wanting to heal the connection. And then there's someone who just wants to be in your presence because of what you offer, your energy. I don't know. You, you guys are going to have to figure this out for yourself or get a personal reading. I don't know. Um, there's also some water signs here. They want to reconcile. They miss you. They don't want to fight anymore. They see you as a long-term person. Um, this could be a Scorpio, Piscean person here. They want to offer you a gift, maybe a gift of, um, I'm just hearing somebody waving a white flag. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to fight the connection anymore. They don't want this to be a, a, a lost cause, a, a, a lost battle. They want to come out of the, man, the manipulation, the games played, um, and, they, and they miss you dearly. Uh, they feel like this is a mutually beneficial relationship. It could really work. Okay. Um, you guys may meet out or with friends. Or you or you might plan the meeting. So that's very good. Um, you could be dealing with some of my Aquarius women or men. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to um, jump the gun there. Only you know your life, right? Um, some of my Aquarius men and women, you could be dealing with two type, two types of men. Um, a wealthy one, you see that, and then your main man. Okay. Um, this wealthy person could be, no, no, no. This main person could be an air sign. This wealthy person could be maybe a Scorpio. That's what I'm picking up here. Doesn't have to be. It could be anybody in your life. Some of you are going to have a choice. You're going to have to cut something or someone out or stand your ground with someone that you are dealing with yeah you're gonna have to definitely make a choice of who you whose cup you want to accept aquarius because someone may be coming at you full force once again um very aggressively they know what they want they want it and they want it right now you could be it could be a scorpio man that um He's in a connection that I kind of show it to you. He's in a connection that maybe he didn't want to be in, uh, but there's a level of responsibility. And um, maybe a husband type. But in the reverse, this is somebody who doesn't want to take on that uh responsibility but they just do it out of obligation this is someone who's not fully committed to whatever that they are putting themselves in so this could be a scorpio person an aries person it could be anybody who had to do something out of obligation it could be in terms of maybe for the children It might be that there's not a lot of clarity surrounding what they're doing. You aren't clear about it because they don't want to open up that aspect, that area of their life with you because they don't want to be there. So they don't want to be absolutely honest with you in terms of Of what's going on with them they could even be trying to get out of something some reversal happening here this person could have or is breaking your heart there is separation here there is or was 
a third party. But uh, this person looks like they may come back to you eventually. The cards are asking you to question, uh, determine why someone is in your life. Be sure, be clear. In career and finance for September 2020, it looks like you're going to, you have a really good idea of starting something for yourself. This could be your own business, uh, another job, or a career change. It looks like it's up for the taking, but it's all on you. You have a good idea of how to bring in more money. And for some of you, a partnership is going to be significant in securing your stability, okay? Hence, the wealthy man here. Um, some partnership is going to be significant, whether it's business or love-related partnership. It's going to bring you a lot of um, shell here. Abundance. Can you see that? Abundance, okay? And we'll just jump into the shells before I forget them, right? Back to this person that's going to come back to you in this impulsive, aggressive, arrogant, manipulative way. The shells are telling you to run, leave, okay? Um, exact some closure with this person, okay? Because <laughs> they might just be damn crazy, okay? Um, and it's going to be hard for you to uh, make this work with them, okay? It could end up in the same manner that it ended up before, okay? Because it looks like someone, I, I asked the question, did someone change? And we got all reversals, okay? And then I got my answers there. So no, someone did not change, okay? There's no change here for uh, for someone who is coming back to you and you, you only know your life. I don't know everyone who you're dealing with. Get a personal reading if you're feeling moved to do so, okay? Um, in career and finance, it looks good. It looks like you're going to be working hard to secure your own financial stability. Um, you're, you're, you're right at the threshold of something. And it's, it's, it looks really, really good for you. You have the idea. It says move and act on the idea. Make the choice. To put all your energy effort behind this idea that you have um, there might be some even some inspirational uh, spiritual motivational uh, things that could happen uh, in your life that lets you know you're on the right path okay uh, spirit talking to you friends may say something random people it all runs together um, once again I, I did mention some of you are gonna meet someone with a friend this could be someone you have a significant history with or maybe a new love. I'm not sure, but um, friends are significant here. There's also someone who wants to know where they stand in your life. It could be a friend. Someone is off their rocker, wants to get crazy. There's something that they haven't really um, addressed. It may be hard to be friends with this person. That's for a, a, a few of you. Uh, what the cards want you to know is that during um, a new moon, maybe in Libra, that's in October, um, there's going to be a new romantic cycle that's going to begin for you, okay? Something significant could happen here. I see a lot of cards of long-term success in love, maybe even taking the relationship to the next level for some of you who are dealing with someone where it's just right and it, and it feels right and you know that it's right. It's right. Um, the cards that want you to, yeah, the cards want you to step out of your comfort zone, okay? Look and see where your north node is. I know that mine is in Taurus, so then you would, um, try to drill down on what that means for you. Uh, so do a birth, birth chart or astrological chart, um, cafe astrology. That's a free one and a good one. See where your north node is. Uh, for some of you, like someone said, 
Some of you are dealing with a true love, okay? Um, this could be a person that you were separated from. It looks like the separation may be ending. You may be getting exactly what you want out of from this person. Um, in this separation, once again, someone gained a lot of clarity here. Um, someone could be gifting or, or sending gifts to you to let you know or, or giving gifts or just anything to let you know um, by way of their action that they, 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 they're sorry um, or they want to come back or they at least want the opportunity to make it up to you. Um, you have to determine if this person is good for you or not. I just don't know. Um, the card wants you to know that um, there's going to be a powerful shift, a powerful change here around this new moon eclipse. Uh, lots of new moons here. You, you guys are manifesting what you want. Um, it's going to be a powerful change in your career. We see that here with the magician and the the lovers. You're going to make a significant career change choice. Um, and that's really good. It looks really good for you. You may be doing something that brings you money uh, surrounding community. You help people or you're in the community. Um, there's people. Um, kind of a an exchange face to face, or if not, there's a, a group or large, yeah, large group of people or people who look forward to you, to your services. So that's really good. Um, the cards want to give you um, the uh, advice that um, big happy changes are coming, and we see that. And expect powerful change, okay? Um, they want to let you know that some of this energy, it's up to you. You might, some of you have a choice in love. You have a choice in um, what you want to go into in terms of career and finance, if it's something new. Some of you might be relying too heavily on spirit to make decisions, choices for you. And they're pushing it right back on you and saying that you manifested this, so it's up to you. Um, for some of you who could be dealing with someone who's off their rocker, someone who has not changed, they want you to know there's something better, okay? Don't settle for this. There's something better coming for you. And they've given you a timeline of in the near future, this could be happening for you, surrounding you, about you, um, all for you. And they also want you to know success is at hand. Either, it looks like in love and career, success is here. Just hold on. Hang on. Some of you, this is how I know some of you have a, wow, this is how I know. Some of you have a choice to make and you're going to have to communicate um, because you have both the dating queen and dating. Okay. So some of you are doing both. I mean, like you just, you've got options, okay? Options are a good thing. You're going to have to communicate about who you want to be in union with, okay? Um, because there is a courting man here. But there's also destiny. Some of you are destined to be with an air sign or someone who has air heavily in their charts. Or someone who you were just separated from. Um... If they have changed, if they have changed, if they have changed, and you know this, clap your hands. No, if you have, if they have changed, um, give it a chance. Give it a chance. What can, what can a chance hurt? If they have changed, there's someone coming back to you who has not changed. I'll just say that. Um, Aquarius, what we're going to do is jump into the extended now and we're gonna, we're gonna kind of drill down on uh, what this person really wants with you what they want to say to you um, we're going to even look at some of that not so great energy that could be returning and how you need to handle that but not before I give you your practical witches spells okay this is so crazy all right so I, I only want it 
two spells to come out. I mean, and these base all of these basically flipped out. So three came out. Two are about money. Uh, the cauldron money magic spell. Now these spells aren't so hocus pocus to the point where you know you're out at three a.m. in the morning dancing in the rain with an umbrella and a, a pot of chamomile tea. It's not crazy, you know. It's I I, I will not read all of of what you need to do, but I'll give you a synopsis. Okay, so it's just really that you need to have a green candle. I have them on my website. Take advantage of those. Um, or you can get a green candle from anywhere. Some chamomile and mint tea. Okay? So so don't be so freaked out that you're doing a spell. This is a spell. This is the root word of, of spelling is spell. If you write something out, it's a spell. So anyway, and I, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, a money spell. How, money magic, bring in more money. How could that hurt you? For a lot of us, that could help. Another spell about health, wealth. You got the word wealth here, a spell for wealth. Um, this is one that wants you to have some essential oil, frankincense, some myrrh, if I'm saying that correct, correctly. And um, if you have a Thursday to give to bringing in money, then do that also, okay? Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, take pictures of these and post these um, and put them up for you guys. Um, and then this one popped out too for some of you. Because some some of you aren't at a place where somebody good is, someone not so great is coming back. And then you want to get into a place of maybe turning that person down and, and finding someone real. So this card popped out for some of you. The soulmate spell. Okay, I won't read it all to you, but I will just um, give you a synopsis once again. So you need a new moon. Google when the next new moon is. Um, you need some rose quartz. I wish I had it in front of me. I have some. I have a lot. Um, and you need a bedroom. I hope that some of you have that too, or all of you have that. Um, and you need two pink candles. Okay. Um, so I I like this deck. Because it's practical, you know, and it says practical. It's not impractical. It's not go kill a chicken and let the blood run, you know. And I and I don't knock any of that either, you know. Do what's best for you, but these are practical spells that you can do in your own life to just heighten energy. That's all you're doing. You're heightening, heightening the energy of manifesting what you really want. You're being a magician, okay? All right, so take advantage of those spells if you're feeling like doing so. We're going to go over to the extended. We're going to talk about what this person wants with you, how to deal with this not-so-great person coming back, um, how this career finance turns out for some of you. All right, Aquarius, if this is where we part, thank you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. I think there's a coupon code below. It should still be good. If it's not, send an email. Um, all links are below the website, the donation, anything you you want to do or how to get in contact with me is below. You can also text a question or 10 to the number below and uh, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Take advantage of that. Um, do keep in mind, this is not my personal cell phone number you do not have my personal cell phone number i know i know honey um it, it is a business line that allows for you to text okay so um just keep in mind it's, it's not personal and sometimes the text messages come in so fast that we have someone else monitoring the messages and you're not always talking to me or you're not always getting your answer um answer your question answered by me immediately uh, okay so anyway Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.